Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I am a regional education consultant with Mastery Connect. Um, I'm also a former educator who actually used Mastery Connect in their own classroom. So we're excited to have you on today's video. Today we're gonna be spotlighting the item authoring tool that's within Mastery Connect. We hope by the end of this video, you'll know a little bit more about item authoring. You'll also know how to access it. And then a quick navigation of how to get around in the, in the item authoring tool. So this video um, is really for anybody in Mastery Connect, but really a focus on the teacher side of things. We're gonna spotlight the teacher item authoring tool. Item authoring can be used um, both school and district wide, but again, we're gonna focus on how can teachers use item authoring to create their own assessments. So when we talk about item authoring, it is really a way to enhance your current assessments. Oftentimes we have a lot of document-based assessments that we use, which is great, they work, but what we wanna do is kind of take it to another level. That's where the item authoring comes in. Item authoring allows you to do a little bit of technology enhanced type items. Um, once you have those items created, you can put them on an assessment and share that assessment with your school, with your district, um, the people on your teams. Uh, but as well as creating your own assessments and your own items, you can actually mix these items that you're creating with um, the purchased item banks that are available in Mastery Connect. So say your school or district has an item bank purchase and you have access to that, you can mix and match your own created items with those from one of the purchased item banks. It's awesome. Um, item authoring is something that I've seen as a teacher as being a huge tool to kind of be innovative in your assessment types, um, allowing students to get on the computer and to interact with the items on the assessment in a little bit different way than they would with a document-based assessment. So what we're gonna do is jump right into Mastery Connect. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you. And what you're gonna see first is my Mastery Connect homepage. So I'm on my homepage and the first question is really, how do I find um, the teacher item authoring tool? Um, if it's been turned on for your school or district, you will find it in the assessments tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the assessments tab. So the question really arises, okay, I don't see item authoring um, for teachers in my assessments, so what do I do? Um, the first thing would, do, would be to do is to reach out to your administrator. Your administrator can then get in touch with your regional education consultant like me um, to get this feature turned on for your school or district. Um, if item banks have been turned on, the teacher item bank, sorry to be specific, the teacher item bank is turned on. Um, in your assessment tab in the gray sub-navigation bar, you're gonna see the word item bank. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and it's gonna open us up into the item authoring tool. So teachers will always um, create their own items for the item, the teacher item bank, going to assessments and then clicking on the item bank. Right now what I'm looking at is my personal item bank. And you'll see your name at the top and that you know you're in the right place. If um, your item bank has been um, turned on for the entire district so that you guys can see each other's items, you will actually have this drop down where you can navigate between the district teacher item bank or your own. You'll want to create your items in your own item bank. So you're probably looking at my screen thinking, oh, I've seen some of this before. Yeah, a lot of the different icons that you'll see in the item authoring platform are very familiar because you've seen them in the assessment creation side of things. Um, you'll see orange, remember that always has some kind of action behind it. Um, but this is kind of the basic piece of where you're going to be creating. Um, when I'm looking at this, as I navigate around, I have two different places that I can go. I can work within my items that I've created. I can also work within my passages. So we'll cover both of those different tabs um, within your teacher item bank. Just like the abilities that you have to filter and find assessments within the assessment community, you can also do that within your own item bank. Every time you make an item, you align it to a specific core and class and standard. So you have the ability, and you can see it right here, to filter by um, your subject. So I'm gonna start with math. That's where I've created all of my items just for ease. 
for today's video. Um, and you'll see that the core comes up. So whatever core you're using um, in your tracker, whatever set, if it's your um, state set or if you're using Common Core, you'll be able to choose from those. So I'm using Common Core. And then you can also filter by your class. I'm using eighth grade standards today. Once I click eighth grade, you'll see that all the standards come up, right? So perfect way, really easy to start filtering um, through items that you've created and kind of locate also for later on items that you've created. Um, there's a drop down right here. So we're gonna get a little additional filters when I click on it. Once I click that drop down, you're going to be able to see some additional filters. So we see item type. Um, I'm going to click on this just because I want you to see all the different item types that we have available. Um, you will notice that the items are arranged by standard, simple, and then advanced. So you have different levels um, of different items you can start out with. And I'm also going to show you a resource today of where you can learn more about these different item types because you're looking maybe at this word choice matrix thinking, I'm not sure what that means. I will give you some resources of where you can find um, both videos in the online PD and then a really great help center document that um, can show you descriptions for each of these different item types. All right. Um, in addition to being able to filter by item type, when you create an item, you can set the blooms, you can set the difficulty, and you also can look at um, if it has a passage. You'll see this little check mark there. And then the other cool thing is you actually can search items by name. When you're thinking about the naming of your items, that's a really big piece. I suggest that you use the same naming convention for each of your items that are on a particular um, assessment. Um, also so that you can find them. Oftentimes, oftentimes we suggest that you have your school number or your initials in the name of the item so that's very easy for you to find later. Or if you end up sharing your items with others, you can say, hey, this is the name of the item or look for my initials or this is our school number or school initials, that kind of thing. All right, it also helps you delineate between question one, question two, part A, part B, that kind of thing. All right, so that's how you filter through the different um, items that you end up creating in Mastery Connect um, within the teacher platform. As I scroll down, I'm going to be looking at the previews that I can see. So over here on the left-hand side, I have 19 items that I've created. I can see a quick preview of the name of the item. I can also do some sorting of my own. So I can sort by the name, I can sort by blooms. If I've put that in, I can do by creation date. Um, then I can also do by depth of knowledge and I can also do by passage. So if there's a passage attached, I can definitely search for that. Um, as I look over here on the left-hand side, you're gonna see a couple icons that are popping up. This one doesn't have any icons and that's okay. Um, but those of the items that do have icons, this means that there's a passage attached. So I have uploaded a passage or a picture or a graph. I'll show you those in just a second. But I have something that students are referencing um, in the question and I can see that by has a passage. This one down here has a little pencil. That means that this question is in draft mode. So right now it hasn't been published. I can't put it on an assessment yet because it's still in that draft um, mode, I think is what I said earlier, but you're still working on it. Okay, um, and I can scroll through those. The nice thing is, is I can see the list of what I've done, I can sort by it, but then once I actually click on it, so I'm gonna go to this one that has a passage. Once I click on the name of it over here on the left, you're gonna notice that over here on the right, I have a preview. So I can see the whole name of it, I can see what subject it is, how many points it's worth. As I scroll down, it's gonna give me a couple things I can do. I can view the passage that's attached, and then I can also view the item. I can also interact with the item. So this one was a matching item, and you can see how it kind of takes us this item um, question, whatever we want to call it, uh, kind of to a different level. So instead of kids just, you know, drawing lines to it on a piece of paper, they're actually interacting with the item and they're dragging and dropping it. If I continue to scroll down, I'm also going to see what the correct answers are. Up here at the top, you're gonna to see a couple icons that I'm sure you are familiar with. I can clone this item. Maybe I wanna use the same passage or the same feature, but I wanna change part of the question. I can clone it, um, and I can also delete it from here. 
I'm going to click on this um, item that I have in draft form just so you can see there's a couple other things that pop up. So again, whenever I click on the item, I get this preview. So I can see this preview. This one actually has a calculator feature attached. So when kids click on the word calculator, they'll actually have a calculator that they can use and they can move around the screen. Pretty cool. Um, but as a teacher, as I'm creating this, I can continue to edit it. You'll see that pencil button, which is familiar. Again, you see clone and delete, but then we also have this publish button. Um, you have to actually publish the item before you can um, put it on an assessment. All right, so we have kind of the basic outline of this item tab. What I want to do is I want to move over to the passages tab. So when we think of passages, it doesn't necessarily have to be an actual passage. Yes, I have a couple passage examples on here, but a passage means that it's some kind of resource that you want students to use or refer to um, when they're looking at a question. You also wanna create a passage if you wanna use it for multiple items. So this one you can see is just a simple little story for students to refer to. Um, there's all different types you can do of passages. I actually embedded this um, butterfly life cycle. This is a Google slide that I added um, and that students would reference as they're going through the questions. Um, again, basic, basic passages are great. I also did a video. So you can see different videos. You have the ability to embed them. Um, this one's um, from YouTube. A cool one that I found um, for secondary is the ability to add in a simulation. So I took the embed code and I'm able to use the simulation as um, a part of the question. So you can kind of see how this starts taking those questions to the next level because they're interacting with them in a different way. All right, so that's our passages. Um, if you see, you have the ability to edit, clone, and delete passages. You can always edit passages and update them. You don't have to essentially push publish like you do with an item, but you can come back to any other passage that you need to and make changes or edits to it. Um, just like our items have the ability to filter, you actually can filter passages by grade level. Um, grade level bands to be exact and also you can search for passage names here and again you have the sort function too so always on the left hand side of the item authoring tool you'll see the name of the passage or the item and then on the right will always be the preview all right so this kind of a basic overview of the item authoring tool in general so let's look at where are some resources for you if you click on the question mark up on the green navigation, you have both the Help Center and your online PD. I'm gonna to go to Help Center first, so I can show you um, the article that's really helpful for getting kind of a fill of the different items. So I actually am gonna have um, you type in, if you'd like to, if you're following along with me or just watching, um, I'm typing in item bank descriptions. You're going to see it's popping up in my search because I search this all the time. It's a really, really great um, tool for just looking at those item bank types. I actually ended up bookmarking this article because of how easy this overview is. So it gives you the um, question, or sorry, the item type, um, a little preview. I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you can see um, one that's a little bit bigger. So here's one, this is a drag and drop. If I wanted to know more about creating this item, I'd actually click on the link in the name and it will take me to a step-by-step -step, um, creation screenshots of this item type. All right, I'm gonna go back to my Mastery Connect account. And the second resource that you have available is your online PD. When I click on the online PD, if you've ever been in here before, you know there's courses. We actually have courses that are dedicated just to the item authoring tool. And I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. You'll see that it has the item authoring introduction, standard item types, simple technology ones, and then the advanced ones. And within each of these courses are individual videos for the different pieces and parts um, of the item authoring tool, and then the different item types. And it will walk you through that as well. All right. 
So I'm going to go ahead and stop my share. What item authoring is, how you can find it easily in Mastery Connect, and now you know how to navigate the tool. This is a game changer because it gives teachers ownership over different types of assessments and the ability to create those different types of assessments in Mastery Connect. If you're interested in accessing the item bank and you don't see it in your account right now, um, if you would please contact your school or district administrator. If you are a district um, or school administrator watching this video, if you'll reach out to your regional education consultant or you can submit a support ticket through our help center, that'll be great. Um, Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos like this item authoring one, go ahead and subscribe to the Mastery Connect channel. Um, if you have any specific problems or issues that you need help with, please visit our help center and submit a support ticket.